Welcome! In this video, we will explore some of the most impressive abandoned vehicles that serve as remnants of the Soviet legacy. From secret military vehicles to river rockets and giant excavator machines, we will discover the stories behind these stunning vehicles. Let's get started! In the 20th century, the space race created a competition between the United States and the Soviet Union to determine who could build the largest and most advanced rocket. However, it also led to the invention of a new high-speed vehicle, the turbojet train. This invention was devised by American engineer Don Watson in the 1960s, who was tasked with creating a faster and more economical locomotive. Watson had the idea of adding jet engines to trains to propel them along the tracks, which resulted in the creation of the LNM 497, a train with two 5,000 horsepower jet engines mounted on the front of the vehicle. This train achieved an impressive speed of 295 kilometers per hour during tests, which inspired the Soviets to build their own jet trains in the 1970s. One of these Soviet trains was equipped with two Yakovlev turbojet engines and AK-40 engines mounted on top of the machine, but it could only reach maximum speed of 249 km per hour and proved to be louder and more expensive to operate than its American counterpart. Due to this, the prototype was abandoned and moved to an unused track behind a rail car factory, where it has remained forgotten for over 40 years. Although the Soviet train remains impressive, it cannot compare to what and innovative creation, which remains an incredible achievement in the field of engineering. A ride on this train during its glory days would likely have been a dizzying experience. Until 2020, at the entrance of the Royal Air Force Base in Marham, England, there was a very large and eye-catching plane called the Handling Page Victor, which was a British strategic bomber designed in the 1950s during the Cold War. This plane was approximately 43 meters long and had a wingspan of 34 meters and could carry up to 17.5 tons of bombs or a 5 ton nuclear bomb. Although these planes were impressive in their time, they lost their usefulness after the Cold War and their maintenance costs were very high, so the last model was retired in 1993 and some were given to museums while others were destroyed. The handling page Victor at Maram Base was used for fire extinguishing practices and target shooting before being discarded in 1995, and today it is in a completely destroyed state with broken windows and internal burns. Wait! Don't forget to give us a like if you're enjoying the video. Each like boosts our channel and helps us continue creating interesting content. Let's continue. In a place called Sipka in Germany, there is an abandoned site that catches the attention of urban explorers. It is a massive bucket wheel excavator that stretches almost 52 meters towards the sky, with a 12 diameter wheel that looks like a chainsaw on one end. Although it was initially thought to be a Baker 258, it was discovered to be a Wenger Mill 473 that was built in 1965 and was once known as the Blue Wonder due to its beautiful paint job. Each of its buckets could shovel 1.5 cubic meters of earth and in less than 150 full rotations, it could pick up enough earth to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool. The excavator was abandoned in 2002 because he had no more earth to excavate and was too large and costly to transport elsewhere. Today, it has become a protected landmark for taking interesting photos or even swinging on if you're an adventurous urban explorer. When it comes to abandoned vehicles, the Loon Ekranoplant, a top secret Soviet military vehicle is a true gem. It was a 74 meter long beast that moved using the ground effect, a little known method where air pressure builds up between the wing and the surface underneath when a plane flies close to the ground, creating an air cushion under the plane. The Loon Ekranoplan had a specially designed set of wings that allowed it to skate over any water surface just inches above it and go unnoticed by enemy warship's radar. Additionally, it had a turbo partner and 10 engines mounted on the front that allowed it to reach a maximum speed of 547 kilometers per hour. 
This impressive machine combined the capacity of a boat with the speed of an airplane. Sadly, only one prototype of the lunar cranoplan nicknamed the Caspian Sea Monster was completed before the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991 and the program was suspended. The Caspian Sea Monster was left abandoned on a well-guarded dock on the coast of the Russian region of Dagestan for nearly 30 years until it was finally towed in July 2020 to a new museum home. Unfortunately, after traveling almost 100 kilometers over the Caspian Sea, the monster became stranded on the sandy shores of Durban due to its impressive weight of 264 tons, leaving it abandoned on the beach for another 5 months. Although it was surprising to see children playing alongside this abandoned war machine, it was one of the most typical things of Russia that I have seen in my life. Although it may not feature the iconic golden arches that identified, you may have guessed that the McBarge was owned by the McDonald's Corporation. This peculiar structure was built in 1986 for the Vancouver World Fair, which took place on the shores of Fall Creek. McDonald's took advantage of this opportunity to introduce an innovative floating restaurant design. Constructing a one-of-a-kind structure on a 57-meter-long barge at a cost of $12 million, equivalent to $26 million today. It was dubbed the Friendship 500, a pun so bad that it makes my jokes seem good. This 790-square-meter restaurant was designed to float in coastal locations around the world, bringing the famous Big Mac hamburgers to every corner of the planet. It was very popular during the six months of the World Fair, although it was jokingly dubbed the McBarge. However, just five years later, residents tired of the novelty and the owners of the shoreline ordered its removal. It was moved to the less populated Burrard Inlet in 1991, but instead of generating business, it was left to slowly deteriorate for over 30 years. The barge has fallen victim to neglect, accumulating dust and graffiti on its shore. Its interior still retains classic 80s decor, although much of it has been devastated by decay and vandalism. The windows are covered in dirt and spray paint, the floors and walls are dirty, and at one point, all product boxes were even left aboard. Definitely not a place I would want to eat at today. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. We upload videos every week. With great power comes great responsibility. This same became evident when cameraman Andrew Lauren stumbled upon a 250,000 purple Lamborghini abandoned in a ravine beside a road in North London, England. Although the car appeared abandoned, Andrew decided to do the right thing and contacted the police to report the incident and try to locate the owner of the vehicle. It turns out that the owner was Michael Hudson, a Bitcoin millionaire and founder of Bitstocks, who had crashed his Lamborghini into a puddle of water and abandoned the car to seek help. Fortunately, the damage to the vehicle was minimal and it could be quickly repaired. The story leads us to reflect on the importance of responsibility and prudence in the possession of expensive assets, perhaps even investing in driving lessons to avoid future mishaps. In 1957, the Soviet Union began producing hydrofoil boats that were exceptionally fast. These boats reduced water resistance by having a pair of submerged wings, allowing them to glide through the water with ease and reach a top speed of 69 kilometers per hour. These river boats, known as Russian River Rockets, transported passengers along rivers at three times the speed of conventional boats of the time. Despite their initial success, many of them were abandoned after the collapse of the Soviet Union and now rust away in ship graveyards, such as the one found in the forest near the Kama Reservoir, near the city of Perm. Most of these boats are of the Meteor type, a second generation design that is even faster and capable of carrying up to 160 passengers. Despite their dilapidated state, these boats remain majestic and evoke the era of their heyday. If you ask me to recommend the best Batman movies, I would say the ones in which actor Michael Keaton played the Cape Crusader are the most outstanding. In those movies, everything was temporary, from the suit to the gadgets, and Michelle Pfeiffer's performance as Catwoman was spectacular. Although I have to say that the design of the car is one of the movies that has not aged well, as was evident in 2019 when an armored Batmobile from the Kim era was found rusting away in a junkyard. Surprisingly, it was not the one that had been abandoned there, as another one was discovered in a New York scrapyard in 2020. 
But how is it possible that these are two abandoned Batmobiles if there is only one Batman? It turns out that these are replica bodies built by fans of the Gotham hero using craft kits. However, when their obsession with the character waned, they decided to dispose of them. In 2019, a functional replica of one of these kits was sold on eBay for $680,000 with a 400 horsepower engine and fully legal for road use. Seeing that price, abandoning the pieces of one of these kits in the woods seems like a joker's joke. Bet it would be incredible to turn back time and see them in action. And you, which one caught your attention the most? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell so YouTube lets you know each time we have a new video. See you in the next one.